can't take damage or die, and these things have overwhelm. So I don't really know how they're stopping this. Thank me later. Never submit. So yeah, I don't I don't know how they're stopping this. They they can't take damage, they can't die, they're overwhelmed. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some action Tarek. Just found out from Twitch chat that's pronounced action. Not auction. I've always pronounced the, the card auction. So sorry about that if that's been really annoying you later on, uh, you know, if you're watching this later. But we got action to go along with Tarek. This is going to be our third action deck of the day. This one's going to be much more spell heavy. We're going to have spell. We're going to have support. We're going to have a lot of gems. We're going to have Mountain Goat, Gift Giver, creating a bunch of gems. And we can protect them. We can also gem up our Sparkle Fly. Gems are going to go really well with both of our champions. We want to target our allies a whole bunch for both of our uh, champions. We go in with three Absolver, three Sunbless Vigor, three Pill Cascade. All of those to go along with the gems. A couple Grappling Hooks, a couple Hush, a couple Bastion. Um, looks pretty exciting. Looks pretty exciting. Bench of the Stones also creating more gems and doing some supporting. Getting some plus two, plus twos. Yeah, let's give it a try. This one uh, should be pretty good. We'll go play our five games in Ranked. And here we go. Katarina Viego. I'm kind of guessing that's like a one of Katarina. Maybe a three of, I guess. Possible, but that's what I'm kind of guessing. But we're going to want our early allies. So I'm going to do a little bit of mulliganing. We could keep, you know, spells. Like a couple of spells were pretty good, but we got a lot of spells. They're all pretty good. But we got to have our allies. So definitely looking for our champions, you know, like Terra Connection. Oh wait, so wait, now y'all think it's more like auction? Not action? So I'm not sure. Let's get the goat out here. Oh wow, so they didn't even just play the house spider immediately, they passed first. That's somewhat surprising, isn't it? To know good from bad. So playing action le leads us with some blessed vigor available, and I could attack with the goat, and they block with the house buyer, and then I some blessed vigor, but so don't have to do that. I like saving the spell mana anyway for the like for the Taric and stuff, right? Like we don't need to just force ourselves to s spend our valuable spell mana and cast our valuable spell. I bring clarity. My opponent loves to pass. I don't like playing stuff. Yeah, always mulligan, looking for action. I think that makes sense. Cryo Arena, your strongest ally and the weakest enemy strike each other. So I guess my weakest enemy is going to be the action. I unfortunately can't really keep that from. Oh sure, take your time. I love to be kept waiting. Okay, glad you do. Alright, so they'll strike each other. 
And then that's going to make the palace go to one. And now around start palace go to zero. Man, both the Absolver and... I mean, Riot Negation could be just great against, like, Vengeance and stuff. So it's their strongest ally, so that means it's going to be this Camelvorian soldier now. Should play the auction first to keep them from attacking that thing. That's fine. From absolution. Scores to settle, crooks to kill. You know how it is. All right, get another gem. So you're at four, five, six. I uh, can't quite level it up. So close to leveling up Terex so they can't take damage or die, but I was one away. Could have tried playing like Mentor the Stones first and stuff, but of course I wanted to just open attack. I guess pretty close to killing them as well. Wait, strongest and weakest. So that means the 7-6. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic. Striking. Let's just float? have it. I could certainly try. strike the match of the sounds. Same one. Welcome, welcome to the stream. We're playing at some Taric. I do this for her. One of my favorite for champions. Us. Always a good time. We should have a pretty easy win this next round. This doesn't matter whether or not I block. Oh wait, that's not my weakest ally anymore. Wait a minute. Right, because it's this Viego striking. Oh, sure, take your time. I love to be kept waiting. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. I'm obviously saving the Absolver for next round. I mean, I'm going to be giving, we're, we're going to have, can't take damage or die, and these things have Overwhelm. So I don't really know how they're stopping this. You can thank me later. So yeah, I don't I don't know how they're stopping this. They they can't take damage, they can't die. They're overwhelmed. Obey your king. 
Thug Pineapple, resubbing for 10 months, almost a year, dog. Thank you so much there, Thug Pineapple. You are incredible. Almost a year now. That is awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, my favorite is pineapple and pepperoni together. I can't update. I'm trying to update this record for auction Ter action Terror to be 1 0, but it is not letting me. It is lagging. Oh, there it goes. So people don't like it just because it's cool to not like it. All right, we're going to keep the Mountain Goat, send the rest back. So, Kordak, you say you don't like pineapple on pizza? Do you like pineapple normally? Protector, shield me. Do you like pineapple with other stuff? You love pineapple? That's surprising. Why why do you not like it on pizza then? If you like it normally. I guess I'm supposed to protect the mountain goat for how my hand looks right now and try to get more gems for this sparkle fly. I think the pineapple complements the, the sauce, the like marinara sauce. Like I said, you gotta try pineapple and pepperoni together. Like that's a good two topping pizza. My other two topping pizza I like a lot is mushroom green pepper. This powder monkey is a problem. Safety will cost you. They say these were from the protector himself. They nabbed a card of mine. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Ooh, okay. It's a card right there. Go, floaty crystals. Don't like our chances here if they have their champions, because, as you can tell, we don't really have champions. Having champions is important. Sejuani can frostbite through through like spell shields, like Bastion doesn't really help protect. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> bad for the teeth, though. Keep taking those. I don't have a specific def d different, better auction Taric. No, I, d I don't. So, um, yeah. This is from Jack. Jack has played a, a lot of auction Taric. And so I guess this would be probably the re an auction Taric tech that I'd recommend. Okay, yep, that's the that's the card that I said we couldn't beat. They get like frostbite my stuff all the time. I have like one hush. Multiple crack shot Corsairs, Merchant. Yeah, great hand. No champion over here. One one. Keep playing against Sejuani. This is uh, not. Yeah, Sejuani's rough. Okay, at least we have our champions this time. 
Am I keeping the Absolver? I kind of think I'm mulligan it. Alright, I like Pill Cascade more. Absolver is a great pump spell at the end of the game to kind of close out the game, right? But it's not, not necessarily one like for the opening hand. So, usually, I, I haven't seen it not be the case, like where it's 3 2 1. I guess it could be 2 2 2 for the three champions also, but it's probably 3 Renekton, 2 Sejuani, 1 Sivir, but I guess it could just be 2 2 2 across the board. I can just save 2 Spellman for Pill Cascade. It's not bad. So that means that they don't have, um, you know, the vulnerable, you know, trading off the four threes means they don't, like, the four three doesn't have vulnerable for the two champions, Renekton and Sivir. So that's good. Hmm. Could certainly be another Merciless Hunter. So I guess I'm going Taric, because Taric, yeah, I guess we gotta go Taric here. I'm ready to shine. The Winter's Claw Strikes! I do not break rules, I bend them slightly. Sure, you're a shiny majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. That was a good 5-5. Five five. That was a good 3-mana 5-5. Five five. Wish I didn't play the Mench of the Stones and just attacked. Can I kill my own Mench of the Stones? <laughs> Yeah, because that's what they want to do. Will die. I guess I can just go gem grappling hook. Oh. All right, well, we got that other hand. They're down to Justice two cards. I am their end. Face your end. Fade and be gone. Down to nine. All right, Sparkle Fly. <laughs> kind of fine. We got four to seven. So I want to play this and copy this over. The tear. So that's. I need to play two other spells first. I guess let's do one gem here. But obviously, I want to get as much as possible on the Sparkle Fly. I guess I could have copied over Pale Cascade also and drawn two cards. But I think the Blessing is the thing to do. What I'm not sure about is what to do with this Relic of Power. I'm, I'm really considering just making the 5-2 and just attacking them for 5 with that. I 
kind of think that's what I want to do instead of draw a card. I'm just going to smack him with a 5 2. Never submit. Make their life a little bit more difficult. Because now they got to block something. Because this is lethal. They can't just. If I don't make that 5 2, they can just like take the 14. Now they. You know, it's at least like. Instead of drawing a card, I'm like killing the 3 1. It's still good. Yeah, that. It would have been better to have the hush the previous round, yes. But the hush should still be good against this Renekton in case of more. Um. Like, especially, like, they have the Battle Fury, right? Like, Battle Fury is always super scary. Me later. So that Hush could be really nice. I don't think people use this 5-2 enough. I think everybody kind of likes to just draw a card, but... The Burst Speed 5-2 attacker can really put people in a rough spot. Wow. Or the 5-2 can just be lethal. 2-1. and one. Victory is a thing of beauty. And, and I instantly regretted it. Oh no, Darmenteric. They're also support stuff, but then they challenge. We don't challenge. They have bigger stuff. You're gone. I guess, yeah, you're gone too. The third option with the plus, with the give everything plus one plus zero. I think it's maybe most useful when you have like a bunch of like ruin runners and stuff. Good hand. Good hand. Yeah, I just get to do that. I want to pass, and then they play three mana Shen, and then I do this. With the gem. I think it's worth the challenge. I don't, not challenging just really can can really help out Shen. I, I I'm not interested in helping out Shen. Alright, so I think they have a 5 mana Jarvan in hand also then. Yeah, that thing's huge. They had a, that's a... Yeah, I mean, that's... They had a good hand. And now they're going to have five mana Jarvan. Yeah, good hand. That green... Green Glade Lookout does have potential. My steel is yours. With me! I was hoping they would use like another sharp side right there and then allow me to afterwards. Gonna find a gift for an actin. Right, Arda. I should just put a gem on, on here. Okay. Well now they're passing, let me just pass and get out of here. That's a good card. I think Scatterpot's fine as as it is. I don't think it needs to be nerfed or anything like that. Like it's, whenever we played this deck the other day, the Jarvan Shen, um, I talked about how I I I didn't like the Scatterpot in the deck. I I wouldn't recommend playing it. I I didn't like it myself. 
It's like, for seven mana, you can play the, um, the Jarvan, King Jarvan that draws Jarvan, or you can play Sacred Protector that draws Shen, and I just would rather spend one extra mana and then draw champions over drawing a random spell. It's just, my opponent just has all the champions anyway, so they're just living the life. Jarvan is so good these days. In this world of quick attack and spell shield. This one's a fighter. Barrier is really well positioned. Ours is what to do and die. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. Absolver. Go, Penelty Crystals. Villains beware. I hope they don't have Lifesteal Barrier. Lifesteal Barrier is like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is only... It's only four damage. This doesn't kill them. I got to pre preemptively Bastion also. Oh, sure. Take your time. I love to be kept away. Fate is what I make. Maybe this will work. Maybe. Oh, they did have Lifesteal Barrier. They had another one. <sighs> Gross. Gross. Well, let's try this. Hmm. More champions. My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. Well, I tried. All right, so they they've had the scattered pod die and a Jarvan die. Oh wait, wait, wait! Oh no, this isn't the Warlord's Horde. I need a Warlord's Horde. It's just this thing. I mean, I guess I could get a Sandstone, sandstone Charger to block. Wait, a Sandstone Charger block just not that bad of an ideal? ID? Idea? I would need to, I would, I would need to kill Jarvan more than kill Shen, because Jarvan's going to level up with, like, if they go Barrier Screeching Dragon, I would need to kill Jarvan so they don't have leveled up Jarvan. Draw into Sparklefly. Find us keepers. Honor guide me. I need another one of those nice absolvers. Our steel will stand firm. Wonderful hand opponent. Wonderful. We put a lot of pressure on them and kind of forced them to have all that stuff, but they did have. They did have enough. Mm. 
don't know how this is gonna go for me. A little left for those who need it. Like they don't block that much. Which kinda means that Oh, maybe Mention of the Stones wouldn't be too bad, but there's not really a, a huge difference in adding the two health on some of my stuff when they can I don't know, kill everything so easily. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Scores to settle, books to kill. You know how it is. You think this is a good matchup? Hey, Colonial. Yeah, I need all those Jarvin. Yeah, Jarvin's wonderful these days. Really well positioned. Good game. What's my plan? Sparklefly gem? Like, gem the Sparklefly? I have a 2 2 Sparklefly attack in? I guess I kind of need to put the gem on the action so I can attack in with action. These gems grant I guess that's just my plan, is just do that and then probably play this mountain goat. The goat's the best blocker I have. Or a third, like. Hmm. I was thinking maybe that they had like the pike spell they were thinking about using. It's quite annoying. See what I've learned. Or at least they missed lurk. That's good news. I do not break rules, I bend them slightly. That's the good news. And now my plan is Taric plus Pill Cascade. I bring clarity. I'm probably drawing a card. I think, yeah, uh, we, like we could do the five two here, but I, th I think we're drawing the card. And so I'm going to. Uh, Wait to de decide which card I am drawing until after I see what cards we draw right here with these two. We've got more information. Listen to me. Don't touch it. Hey Sparky, it's going good. Playing a bunch of auction decks today. Or action or however it's pronounced. Mountain Goat. Both the Goat and the Pill Cascade I like. I like them both. Um, I think I like the Goat a little bit more. The Goat's a better blocker. And of course creates the gem still. Yeah, I don't I don't mind. All the pack. I don't think they're missing lurk again. Fade and be gone. That's me taking ten. Hey. Don't think I'm supposed to take ten. Probably have to play the Sparkle Fly. I guess first let's go with. Hmm. No. 
don't know, maybe I didn't need to play the Sparkle Fly. So three, four, five. Actually. Ten. Yeah, I had to play Sparkle Fly. Draw two, have my cards cost one less, then I can play some more gems. Or the champions have plus two, plus two. The first one, grab... Oh, yeah, the first one. Grant all enemies vulnerable. Seven, eight... That's not... Let's see, so that'd be five. Yes, this is going to be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think I'm doing eleven damage. If I choose the first one, I think I just do eleven damage to them if I just attack immediately. Yeah, so it's not lethal. We receive an ally. I mean, is the strongest ally that died? Is it just, is it just the mountain goat? All right, I'll do this. Auction's grappling hook. I don't think that was the play. To protect all. This is justice. That was definitely not the play. Never submit. No, we. No, no, we're doing eleven with the first one. That's so you have lethal on board with the first one. No, we don't. We have we have eleven. That's the problem. I'm not forgetting the plus one gem, right? That's eleven damage. Was I supposed to, like how was I supposed to do more damage? I was counting the gem. They say these were from the protector himself. Yeah, so it gave me a new auction. I think I need to do the draw to make gems free or the plus two plus two spell shield, either one of those. And honestly, maybe just the pl plus two plus two spell shield. I guess I could have done another gem. I guess I should have done another gem. Is that game or something? Cool, I bet. You like it? I mean, that's sure game for me, fight. right? Like I have it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we still survive. Vengeance with a smile. We got a winning record, right? It it was a little little weird there at the end and everything, but we got the winning record, and so that's what matters. I like Tarek a lot. I liked playing Tarek decks, and I like all these different spells with Tarek. I think that this was a good Tarek deck absol like um, action with the gems was nice. So action, Tarek, gems, all that pretty nice. Um, I'm not sure about the three Sunblessed figure, if we need all three of those. Also not sure about the Vagabonds. I've been a little less and less impressed with Vagabond. If we already got Mentor and Merciless Hunter, and we already have so many ways to target, maybe we just don't need Vagabonds. Maybe we can get a more impactful card uh, there. You know, like you can, you know, obviously there's there's lots of different things that you, you can play in these regions in the three, four mana slot, you know, three, four, five mana slot as units. Um, a, a card that I would kind of like in this type of deck these days is Astral Protection. Honestly, really like Astral Protection with all the different vulnerable and challengers, like all these merciless hunters and stuff like that. I think this can be a really good way to um, keep you like your Taric or action alive through challenging. I also, besides that, um, another one doesn't work as well like... You know, that works well whenever you're attacking with Tarek. This one is just more defensively, but um, I've always thought Ancient Hourglass is always kind of underrated, and just having one or two Ancient Hourglass for different removal spells and stuff is and challenge, because there's lots of vulnerable, again. And so Ancient Hourglass could just have, like, one or two of those. Could be a nice little protection that counts as a target. 
I wasn't I wasn't talking about taking out Bastion. I, I was talking about like um, the cards that I don't like are really like the Vagabond and the the Sun Blessed. Like maybe like instead of three Sun Blessed Vigor, you know, you can play one or or two of the of the other card instead of all three Sun Blessed Vigors. Like those are the cards. Gift Giver was eh. The the problem with Gift Giver is the one two body just like getting creating the gems awesome, but the one two body. It's not great you know like it does it's hard to have that thing trade with stuff and everything but you do want like one drops and everything so i don't know it's it's probably i don't know if it's like the the best one drop in these regions of course is the treasure seeker whoever treasure seeker is that's of course the best one drop but but gift giver maybe is a little bit better in this specific deck because of the, how good the gem is with action and sparkle fly and Taric. so i can understand playing gift giver instead because of that so there we go. So that's going to be Action Tarek. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And if you try it out yourself, let me know how it goes for you. But that's going to be it here for Action Tarek. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.